Hey YouTube, Kira Qualia here, bringing you all an update to my Cardfight Vanguard Hasserit deck profile for post Lyrical Monasterio, Trick or Trick. We did get a couple new cards, plus a few promos throughout the release of support for the Hasserit Lyrico Monasterio deck. The deck focuses on being able to utilize putting normal units back on the bottom of the deck to then gain additional card abilities and power-ups using the many different cards, including a new promo which we've had for a good while now but still very very good for the deck counting all of your units as normal units for the play style including the one new card for more soul build up and draw power with the new grade one we got from the trick or trick set so let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile so we'll go ahead and start off with the ride deck our ride deck consists of our starter which is brand new start hasserit when wrote upon if you went second draw a card our grade one which is bouncy guide hasserit when one wrote upon by a grade two with Hasserit and its card name. Choose up to one grade two or less normal unit from your hand. Call it to rear guard until end of turn. It gets plus 2,000 and auto rear guard at the end of the battle as you attack to vanguard. Draw a card and put this unit on the bottom of your deck. So this is an example of utilizing the different normal units to place them back on the bottom of the deck. Kind of sift through the deck much more faster, getting to more important cards we need. Our grade two being undecided true white Hasserit. One wrote upon by a grade three with Hasserit and its card name. Soul boss one. Choose one grade three or less card from your hand and call it to rear guard if you call it a card draw a card so more of the call setup for draw power as well depending on the unit you call you can also have the different card abilities with our final grade three being iridescent palette hasrit now the thing for the setup with the normal units means that we don't run any orders in the deck focusing solely on the units in the deck itself but for added backup grade threes the only ones we run are the three additional copies of iridescent palette hasrit on the Vanguard Circle, counter boss one, choose up to five of your normal rear unit rear guards. Until end of turn, they get plus 2,000 and rear guard at the end of the battle this unit attack to Vanguard, draw a card, and put this card on the bottom of your deck. If you chose three or more cards, this card gets plus 10,000 to end of turn. So it does have the risk of them being placed on the bottom of the deck afterwards, but still being able to have that draw power for putting those units means they can also avoid your opponent's cards, which, you know, in a sense is what a rabbit does, which is Hasrit play into the theme of a rabbit avoids danger by going back to the bottom of the deck but still giving you hands to play more defensively from your hand for the grade twos i do want to run four copies of adorable shooter clantel i have two copies of calm benevolence mame as placeholders for the other two copies of this card when placed on rear guard from hand if you have a vanguard with hasser and its card name put a grade two or less card from hand into soul look at the top seven cards of your deck choose up to one grade three with twelve thousand or less or a grade two with 9,000 or less, or a grade one with 7,000 or less card power from among them, call them to rear guard and shuffle your deck. If you do not call a card, draw a card. But that's where the power for the many different grade three units come in, because they'll get additional power thanks to our grade three Vanguard Hasserit for the additional power boost to make up for the minus power they get. Clanfell just helps with that initial setup. For the other grade twos, as I mentioned with the AK power, four copies of Shape of Cat's Cradle, Sylphia. On rear guard, when your other rear guards put on the bottom of your deck during your battle phase, you can still bless one, and this unit gets plus 10,000 till end of turn. So making use of another rear guard attacking, you can then have this unit be powered up, and it also gets the additional plus two that you would have gotten from the counterblast skill of Hasrit. And at the end of the battle, this unit attack hits a vanguard, you can put this card on the bottom of the deck to draw a card and counter charge one, making up for the counterblast as well for some of our other cards of the decks, making it a definite four of just for that resource replenishment we do run a good number of grade ones in the deck with a good variety of them being below the 8k power as well our newest one from trick or trick is affable geiter tapia when placed on rear guard if you have a vanguard with hasser and its card name counter plus one choose up to two cards from your hand put them into the soul and draw cards equal to the number of cards put into the soul so this also helps for that sifting draw power to get into some of the more important cards in your hand it's a 9k grade one but once again you'll get the 2,000 attack point boost thanks to Hasserit making it a more viable boost against your opponent as well. And one of the better promos, I only have the three. I would run a fourth copy, potentially. I could show you what grade one to take out for another copy of this card, and that is Aren't I Great to be Attending, Lavora. If you have a Vanguard with Hasserit in its card name and this unit was placed this turn, you get all of your trigger units on rear guard and in your deck are regarded as normal units instead. So this actually allows you to have more of a recycle power and boost to your trigger units as well. During your turn, if you have a grade three or grade Vanguard with Hasserit in its card name, all your other rear guards in the same column as this one get plus 5,000. Having 
an additional power boost on top of what some of the other units can also get. It's also a 6K, so it'll benefit from the 2K boost that your Vanguard can provide. With also running four copies of any color bubbles, Shailene. When this unit boosts a rear guard, if you have a grade 3 or grade Vanguard with Hasrit and its card name, it gets plus 5,000 power to end a battle. At the end of the battle, so plus one, choose one of your back row center rear guards and move it to an open rear guard, giving you chances to move some of the other cards that may have been returned to the bottom of the deck to then provide additional playstyle as well for those back row center rear guards. All it has to do is boost and have a grade three with Hasrit to get that additional plus power, and then choosing one of your back row rear guards to move to another spot. And I also run the four copies of Munch Munch Lunch Kaolina on rear guard. When your rear guard is put on the bottom of your deck during your battle phase, you have a Vanguard Hasser and its card name. This unit gets plus five until end of turn. So just an additional way to power up other rear guards by benefiting from the place on the bottom of the deck. Card ability using this card. You get the plus five it is a 6k. You can have the plus two off of Hasser as well. And then just going from there, the additional plus boost power that you can get off of this card. With the last of our grade ones, aside from the Sentinels being the four copies of Return Trip to Crimson Hour, Maryland. When this unit boosts, if a rear guard was put on the bottom of your deck this turn, it gets plus 5,000 power until the end of that battle. So this one is an 8k power, so it won't be able to benefit from some of the other boosts, but it will benefit just for the additional 5k plus that you can use going up against your opponent. If you wanted to run a fourth copy of Lavora, you can always take out one copy of Maryland since it doesn't really provide much for the putback power. It's mostly here to provide the additional 5k boost as well so a fourth copy of lavora can be placed into the deck just by taking out one of the copies of maryland and then lastly for the grade ones just the four sentinels i have two sarka and two riviana there's really no specifications for the uh, use of you know sentinels in this deck for any particular reason so just having a potential uh, you know 6k if needed i would never want you to call a sentinel you have it in the option with this card and then for our trigger lineup, I wanted to go for a mix match of different triggers. So the four copies of El Shuka and the two copies of Glutton Nora. It all depends on what you want for the play style. You have the six critical for the extra pressure that they can provide. I'm also running the two copies of Thick and Fluffy Siesta Hilma for a little bit of draw power in the deck as well. If you wanted to run the ability triggers, you can replace the Ashukas or the Hilmas for the 5k and put into shield power. The same for the front triggers which we're also running three copies of picturesque luana just helps with the additional boost if needed for some of the units that haven't gotten their additional power if you don't use hasrit that turn and lastly the four heels being the peaceful garden anika just find it very fitting with the rabbit deck to run a rabbit heel and our over trigger being fantastic for nail katrina just the standard over trigger choice for the lyrical monasterio deck but that is it for the deck profile. I hope you all enjoyed. Like I said, just a quick update to one of the more overlooked Lyrical Monasterio decks. But as always, I hope you all enjoyed. And until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And Kira Qualia out.